Good morning, guys. It's Kaiba on the Renegade. I'm here with Stardew Valley, our next Let's Play. Um, yes, I, I actually am kind of surprised that I'm doing Stardew Valley 2. Um, it's a very long game if you don't know exactly what you're doing. Uh, but I have a pretty solid idea. And it's still a long game either way, and Kyle recently bought Stardew Valley, so uh, making something like this would actually be really uh, topical to what he would be up to sometime lately, probably. Um, I put my favorite thing as bananas on you now. What should I put my favorite thing as on this one? Um, hmm. Probably the game of games. Cause, you know. Nah, nah, that's stupid. How about, um. Oh, what's something that's really useful? Mmm. We'll, we'll think on that for a second. Um. Ooh, no, we don't really need to change our skin color that much. Ugh. Very odd colorings. That one's nice. Um, let's see here. So I think I'm gonna do two days at a time. Uh, for, well, two days at a time does sound like a lot. Maybe I'll just do one. I'm not sure. Uh, but I want to say good morning and uh, have a nice day at the end of, or at the beginning and end of every video. So that's going to be interesting. That one's kind of... Kind of like me. I'm, I'm just going for what I have now. That one's mostly like me, but that's the same hair that Adele has. Or is that one? I'm not really sure. I don't think it is that one. That face isn't covered near that. Let's go back to the five or whatever it was. Yeah, that one's kind of like me. There's a lot of shirts in this game. Like a surprisingly large number. That's not too bad. I don't know if that's very me. I'm more an orange kind of guy. I'm big on sweatshirts though. Sorry, this is taking forever. I should have thought about this ahead of time. That one's not too bad. Is that Santa? That is Santa. That's what the bell's wearing. Let's see if I have That almost looks like a hoodie. Yeah, I'm down with that. Oh, beards. So weird. I guess that one's mostly like me. I have a goatee right now. Well, no, I don't. I have a chin strap, but still. Um, ah, I didn't think about my favorite thing though. There we go. the blue hair. I don't remember exactly how those ones were. Um, and for pants, I guess we'll go like dark green maybe. Is green good with orange? No, blue is good with orange. Uh, it's 
still dark green, that seems pretty alright. things other than bananas, so we're just gonna have to go bananas. Oh, the resolution is, uh, I can't tell if it's right or if it's squashed. Sorry, I'm not gonna read the grandpa's dialogue. You guys can read that yourselves. That's pretty simple. It's basically, ah, I am a dying. Here, have this letter. <coughs> uh, the fun of Stardew Valley isn't really like the story or um, the chores, I guess. It's more just spending time with people and um, accomplishing something, I guess. It's gonna be weird coming into a farm without all that stuff. Uh, it's gonna be so different. I need to not change that skull wallpaper this time. Because my last playthrough I got a skull wallpaper on like my fifth day. And I was like, yeah, that looks really awesome. It was all skeletons across the wall. And uh, I changed it, thinking that the wallpaper would literally just pop right off. But no, it didn't. It went over it, and I was like, shit. <laughs> just lost the thing that I really liked. Look at him, he can't take it anymore. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor me. I can't really say I blame him. Sometimes I feel that way about work and all that stuff. So this letter is basically just saying, hey, yo, time to go live on uh, old renegade farm. Hope you're hope you're ready to uproot your life and do that. You know, it it doesn't matter what you have here. You free of fuck fuck the family you made. Just uh just go to Stardew Valley. Go live there. <laughs> Go, go make a farm. Go, go make a money. Good job. <laughs> oh man. No, that's not really how it is. It's not all about making money in Stardew Valley. I mean, it kind of is, but it's not. You can make a ton of money without even really trying. Hello, Robin. Uh, you're one of my favorite people. She's the carpenter. She does uh, stuff for your farm, like uh, building coops and whatnot. <clears throat> yep, looks just the way my grandpa would have left it. So hopefully, during this playthrough, the multiplayer is going to get released and we can actually add Kyle into our farm for the Let's Play. That would be really cool. And this is Mayor Lewis. He likes hot peppers. What does Robin like? I don't remember. She likes most things that everyone likes, but I don't remember what her specific things are. I think she might like pink cake, but that might be somewhere else. Might be jazz.
It's funny, you can already tell that the people are opinionated, like they're not secretly trying to fuck with you. They just want to help you out, I guess. Because immediately saying she just wants you to buy one of her house upgrades is like, uh, I don't know, is basically expressing his opinion that he not only disapproves of house upgrades as a whole or whatever it is, but, uh, he thinks that she's trying to trick you into doing it and he doesn't like that or something. I'm not really sure. So like, hey, look at me. You can trust me. Uh, gotcha. Uh, so I guess we're gonna spend today clearing out the farm for the most part. Gotta plant those parsnips and... Good news is it's running exactly as well as I expected it to. And luckily, Stardew Valley is not a very intensive game at all. In fact, intensive is kind of the exact opposite of what it is. It's chill as fuck. <laughs> That's about all you need. to put your stuff in here. Ugh. So much freer. No, there. Is that how you should have? I think so. Get some of this friggin' grass and bushes cleared out. So, some of this stuff we actually won't be able to clear out. Upgrades to our gear, um, and we won't do that until we have both A money and B um, uh, the stuff to actually upgrade our gear. But getting this stuff here is going to help us on our way. I wonder if you guys can actually see the little notifications that are popping up. I'm definitely going to see that in the recording. Because I was uh, streaming last night. I bought Dragon Ball Fighters. Really fun game. Um, little simple when fighting the NPCs. Uh, I haven't gotten to fight too many players, but it's a much better experience fighting players. Um, and some of the NPCs are pretty tough. I've gotten, I, I think I've actually been beaten once by NPCs and maybe like two or three times by players, but I only did five or six matches, so it really wasn't too many. I'm pretty sure I have like a 50-50 win ratio. Something in there. I don't know, maybe we'll take a look if I stream some more later. Um, I've got a nice little open space here. I guess we might as well just plant these parsnips right here. Square for chests. A square here, and then a square for fences. So, oh, we didn't need to do six. I guess we're going to have to run up to, actually, once real quick, we can make chests, right? Yes, yes we can. It's Monday, so we shouldn't have too much trouble going up here and getting some stuff. Come on, man. Up. 
wasting your energy. be a problem for too, too long. Okay. So let's run along to Pierre's and see if we can't buy some fertilizer. I know we haven't actually met Pierre yet, but uh, we're about to, so... Welcome everyone to Pelican Village, a place where we will be spending the next god knows how long. <laughs> this is Marnie, she's uh, one of my favorite people. She likes to sell, she doesn't like to sell, she sells animals, well she might like to sell, I don't know. She sells animals, uh, and she has animals that she takes care of, posted today. Uh, introductions, I'm trying to meet everyone around town. Here's Harvey. Harvey's the doctor. Uh, this is Nia. She's an artist. Uh, this is Abigail, Pierre's daughter, and Caroline's daughter. This is Pierre. Uh, he's the shopkeep. I always like to have flowers. These wallpapers are ugly, man. Why are they always so ugly? Ah, oh, he doesn't have any fertilizer. You monster, Pierre. Alright, so we have parsnips already. We should probably get something else. How about, um... Hmm, maybe potatoes? Well, if we get two of these, that's 120, so then we can get one more of these. Now you're usually... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that, man. Oh, good. He'll buy it back at the same... No, he didn't. Damn, I was looking at the beans. Oh, that sucks. At least we got a potato. Careful, you don't actually accidentally hand people your seeds. Not only will they not care about them, but um, this is Caroline. She's Abigail's mother and wife of Pierre. Uh, not only will they not care about them, it uh, is a waste of your seeds. This is Alex. I think he's the son of Evelyn and uh, George here. Ooh, this is Penny. Penny's Fidel's wife right now. She doesn't have anything more to say than hi. She's very shy. Forgot how shy she was. Uh, that sounds so creepy now that I'm hearing it on... Well, I'm not hearing it on the recording, but now that I'm saying it on the recording, it sounds so creepy. <laughs> this is Gunther. Looks like the children aren't here today. Of course they're not. Penny's not here. Goof. So we're gonna try and meet everybody and actually... Clint. So we've met 12 out of 28. Ah, it's gonna be hard to meet everybody. Mary Lewis doesn't have a wife. Uh, I think we're about to miss Vincent if we don't go outside. Yeah. Hi, Vincent. Is Jody inside? Nope, doesn't look like she is. I wonder if everyone's at the tavern already since it's 2 o'clock. 
Oh, there's Jody now. Hello. Gus is here, but Emily isn't. Hmm. I remember my first few days when I was playing Stardew Valley, I passed out at 2 o'clock, because you do that. Um, and yeah, let's just say uh, that passing out at 2 o'clock is not a good, not a good at all. Hey, it's Demetrius. Let's see if Robin's inside. We've already introduced ourselves to Robin, though. Is Sebastian at home? He is at home and out of his room. How original. It's probably because it's the first fucking day. <laughs> <coughs> I gotta see if Linus is up here. There's a leak up there. Ooh, and that's a horseradish down here. I almost missed that. Hey. Oh, full inventory. Damn. Do I want the leek or the horseradish? Leek. So there's lots of people who like leeks. Actually, better plan yet. Let's bring horseradish up to Linus. And then grab the leek. Linus, are you at your camp? You are. Hello, Linus. It's nice to meet you. Here, have a horseradish. He likes it. He likes pretty much every food because he is a homeless. Uh, don't feel too bad for him though. He's a homeless by choice. Why? I don't know. I have personally told him on the Dell to uh, get a job and stop leeching off other people because I don't think that's very right. Um, but he said that he wants to live his life in his own way, and I do kind of respect that, but I just don't think that the way he's living is right. Because, you know, he's going through people's garbage, and he's probably miserable a lot of the time, and all that stuff. Like, if he were to just put some friggin' effort into his life, he could easily be a really good guy. Like, he's helpful, apparently, unless he's digging through your friggin' pockets after hours. <coughs> yes, that is kind of a thing that happens. Yes, I know. Come on. Pretty sure the beans and the cauliflower take the longest to grow. So we gotta get those. Down to eight. Ah. Uh, we don't have anything to eat though. Damn. That means Ooh, we have the leek that we can eat. Should be able to. Oh yeah, we can we can definitely water and harvest a potato really quickly. Not where I wanted to hit. Water and harvest. Getting a little ahead of myself there. 
Um, so we managed to meet... Oh, I don't have a well up here anymore. I'm such a doofus. <clears throat> now we gotta get water from that freaking pond. Like the peasants we are, once again. But it's okay. I should check the TV. We got living off the land. I mean, I would. I'm just pretty much out of energy. So I'm just gonna head to bed. It's gonna rain tomorrow, so we won't have to water our plants. It's too bad we didn't get to meet everybody in town, but there's a lot of people in town. Yeah, we've still got ten people to meet. Wait, it said it was gonna rain all day. What the heck? Yeah, but I can't afford something like a backpack right now. I'm pretty sure that's like... Alright, I'll come down to the beach. It said it was gonna rain though. Didn't it say it was going to rain all day? Did I not read that? Ah, oh, man. I mean, it doesn't suck that bad, but it kind of sucks. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I do really need to get down to the beach, though. Because well, he's got a fishing pole for us. Also, it says to harvest some wood to make some money, but it's like, no, I'm not going to sell my wood. Are you crazy? Wood is so valuable in this game. I mean, it's not that valuable, but I want to have freaking stacks of it, you know? <coughs> Ooh, that. I don't think we got to meet Jazz or Shane yesterday. Shane now. It's Tuesday, so the traveling merchant would be here. We met Shane, and he told us to go away, because he's a jerk. It's okay, though. I don't really like Shane. Which is sad, because I used to have a best friend named Shane, so it would have been really nice if he wasn't a jerk. Here we go. Hey, Willie. You, uh, smoking some ganja there? <laughs> you know what I just realized? I think I should have ended the episode um, a little bit ago. Like, at the start of today. I'm not sure what time it is now. Just gonna have a moment looking out at the ocean now. It's 810? Okay. It is the second bell. So I guess we'll play today, even though we spent all that time setting up and whatnot. Um, and then tomorrow, at the end of the or at the end of the day today, uh, when we're checking our money's screen, we're gonna. Um, what am I trying to say? Uh, he won't buy our stuff if we're not like. Right. It's too bad. At least we have a fishing pole now. Also, I don't know if we can do stuff for the community center if we haven't been introduced to it, but this daffodil needs to go up there. I think. I'm pretty sure. What's this? Largemouth bass. Um, uh, I don't really want to fish for a largemouth bass right this particular second. He won't buy the shells, damn. Alright, we'll, we'll try and head straight into the community center and see if we can do something about that. I don't think we can, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's locked. Something we need. 
still finds one, I'm sure. Ugh, it's so annoying to not have inventory space. I'm so used to carrying all my tools with me. We're gonna have to make another chest. Just so that we can separate out some stuff. Oh, I didn't want my flowers. I guess we'll work on this, because this is really what we should probably be doing. We can't have this growth overtake us. And unfortunately it takes a whole lot of energy to clear this shit out. We don't have a ton. or something. Or fighters, I guess. <clears throat> I know some people would probably really have hoped that I was going to let's play that. But, uh, I got good news for you if you're interested. Well, actually, you probably won't even have time to find out considering how fast I'm going to be doing it. Well, considering the relative speed I've been doing it at anyway. Um, I've been... I streamed Dragon Ball Fighters last night, and I'm not very happy with how OBS handled it. So I'm gonna switch to XSplit, which I have used before. Um, I mean, I've used OBS before too, but I haven't really used OBS before to stream. And I have used XSplit to stream, and I know XSplit works really well. So we're gonna have to give that another go. Hopefully it works, and works really good. It might just be my internet's not good enough, but I don't know, man. I feel like I have pretty solid internet. <clears throat> That's 2 o'clock. We haven't met the wizard. We haven't met Pam, but that's just fine. I don't like her. Try and be on better freaking terms with Clint this time. Tomorrow we're probably gonna end up going to the mines, assuming we can. Ah. Ah. It's fine. It's fine. Don't, don't, don't get annoyed. I know you want to get annoyed right now, me, but don't. <laughs> This game's too nice. <sighs> oh, we got enough wood for another chest. Ah, that's fine. We'll, we'll make more later. <clears throat> we don't have a ton of wood. Uh, we're pretty much out of um, energy, though. We have no money. I should put some tools away. up a little bit. There we go. I know I mentioned Overlord on the stream. If anybody's been watching that, I'm having a really good time watching that right now. It's awesome. I really love that show. I think I'm gonna um, probably have to watch it more. <laughs> In between, like, recording this and... What am I trying to say? I'm streaming. Because I want to record some of this and then stream... Um, 
and then yeah, that's pretty much it. Just record some of this, chill out for a little bit, stream for the rest of the night. I don't know if streaming's gonna go super well, like I said, but uh, we can hope. You know, it's not too bad. Um, so let's see if we can't gather us any fishes. This fish stuff that we'll be needing for the community center. All oh, right, I'm so stupid. I was supposed to eat that daffodil. Not good at eating flowers, guys. Oh come on, just give me a fish, man. We gotta, we gotta get moving now that we're fucking exhausted. It's gonna take us forever to get home. Oh come on. Just give me a fish. Just give me a fish. Oh, you're being such a freaking jerk about it. Oh, I'm Mario, we haven't met her yet. But we can't do anything but walk. We're exhausted. Because I'm a doofy do who doesn't know when he has no energy not to throw a freaking fishing pole. Do you know how many times I've done this? <laughs> Too many. <laughs> oh god, we're never gonna get home in time. It's just not gonna happen. No, that's not true. We've got like six hours to get home, but still. Hey Robin. No, I haven't. I'm trying. But uh, as you can see, I'm exhausted. Got a walkies. It's a bad. Oh, the music cut out. Hmm. Yeah, I really like the music in Stardew Valley. I think it's very... Um, fitting for the most part I guess like it seems like it's all ripped right from other stuff for some reason like I almost feel like it's um, straight copying some stuff like uh, one of them's very Yoshi's Island and another is uh... oh shoot I'm sure I'll mention it when I hear it I just don't remember right now so we don't want to drop the mixed seeds or the daffodils, so we'll just put them in the chest. I guess since we're already exhausted, we might as friggin' well. Oh, are you gonna pass out right now, dude? Crap. That was close. Dude, stop trying to pass out on me. It's friggin... It's 8.30. Okay? It's not a reasonable time to be the passing out. Man, I'm glad I know that trick. <laughs> Let's see what the weather says for tomorrow. Oh, now it says it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Okay. Good news is now we can make a field snack at least. <clears throat> oh, only 120 gold, huh? Not doing too great on the cash yet. But just you wait, guys. Ah, there we go. Can't make a scarecrow yet either. So we don't really need water, but we're gonna stick our water in the watering can there anyway. Um, so today it's raining, so it's actually a good day to go fishing. But instead, I think we're gonna go to the mine. 
I also want to see if I can make some of those field snacks. Mm, that don't look like it right now. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go straight to the mine. And the fastest way there is by Robin's house. I'm gonna have to clear all this out shortly. But it likes leaks. I feel like I'm missing something that I need. I guess a hoe? Oh, right. Yeah, I guess I can't go there. Hmm, that sucks. Well, you know what they say. When in doubt, go fishing. Feels even jerkier than I remember it for a little one. Sunfish, cool. That's something we need for a community bundle. That's actually something that I lost, uh, because I sold and still haven't put it in my community bundle on Videl, even though I've been playing for over three years now. Not real time obs, I hope, because, you know. That would be a long time. I forgot to end the episode, guys. I forgot all about it. What am I going to do now? Ah. It's only 9, 10 a.m. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I've been Kyle on the Renegade. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to... Well, I guess today, we're going to spend a little bit of time fishing. And, uh... Actually, I don't think we are going to do that. Because the bamboo fishing pole doesn't seem to be getting us anywhere. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow, and you guys have a great day. Bye!